Hello, hello, hello! Welcome. Welcome to today's stream, The Arcane Academy, episode three. Hope you guys are all ready for a very exciting session today with a wonderful group of players. Let's go ahead and get right into the academy, shall we? And see how our students are faring and doing today. Hello. 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 Hello, everyone. How how how's everybody feeling today? But you got to tell me all at once. Okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. Sounds like universally everyone is doing well. Yes. Can't... <laughs> <laughs> He's God. back, baby. Uh, I think we all missed him a lot. Uh, let me go. Let me go and do a brief recap uh, for everyone that wasn't here for the last session. Which, by the way, just to uh, go ahead and uh, oh, what's the link? Is it this one? Nope, it's this one. Yes. Uh, session two is up over on my YouTube channel right now. Over on my VOD channel, head on over there. Both sessions are completely up there currently. A brief recap of our session last week there was a uh, it was the first day of school you met a couple of instructors you met the headmaster and then there was a a little bit of a a, a schoolyard uh kerfuffle uh, would you say gideon I don't know if I'd ever use that word, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, there, there was a murder kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. What, what word would you use? What word do you use? <laughs> I thought you were going to say tussle. It sounds like kind of like kerfuffle, but a little more normal. Okay. Um, it, was, it was a schoolyard brawl, you know? A schoolyard brawl? With, yeah. With actual magic. Uh, with involved. lethal magic. Yeah. Yeah, I recorded <laughs> aggravated assault. <laughs> yeah, I was aggravated, so I assaulted your group. Yeah, that's, that's true. <laughs> it gave him quite a wallop, too, until an instructor, uh, the instructor on screen, actually, stepped in, kind of interfered, uh, set Malcolm in his place, I, I, I think it's fair to, fair to say. Um, and then he wanted to see what you knew, and he unfortunately knocked you unconscious Gideon because he's a very high level level wizard but he may have uh he may have earned his respect uh but what was really impressive was Al standing up for his bud isn't that right Al they stood up for one another yeah it was they, beautiful yeah it was a mutual stand up a, a romance a friendship yes. yeah a, a bromance has started a friendship was made that day and then, DM, and then he got sick. Who got sick? <laughs> what? Al did, DM. He got sick on himself, remember? Oh, yeah. That's not right. himself on the floor. Right. Yeah. He okay. did get he did get sick on himself. You're absolutely correct. I totally forgot about that. Yeah. I want to uh, make sure member. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I, I did want to mention, um, if anyone was kind of the blame for the start of this fight is there anyone any fingers we can point to niger probably shady <laughs> <laughs> no probably no. um what's uh, that guy <laughs> oh my god you know yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, Otto, you know, Otto. 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 um we did wrap up the session with a lovely little spell making mini game by the way oh that, that was so much fun Thank you. Yeah. There's there's definitely going to be more themed around that because that sparked some, be. some inspiration. <laughs> All right. <Yeah>. Jesus. <laughs> right. Intimidation check. <laughs> I roll intimidation against the DM. You fail with a natural one because I can do that as DM. <laughs> Although I would never, I would never do such a thing. Um. Yeah. So you all made spells, and then at the end, the professor said. You know, everyone appears to be very skilled. Perhaps we should put that to the test in the Exodus dungeon. And then we ended the session right there. And now, <laughs> with that, <laughs> thank you. Uh, with that, <laughs> we shall now begin today's session. So let's uh, continue on right from that scene. I, I, I think Joe got it right. The camera zoomed in. On, on, on the face of, of the professor. Hold on, let me get this. Zoomed in on the face of the professor, and he went, the Exodus Dungeon! And then it echoed, 
and there was the dramatic hedgehog or what was it groundhog sound effect from you know meme from yesteryear um and then we begin now with him continuing building upon that uh, the students are, are stunned uh by what he just screamed and then he continues now the perfect test of your newly found abilities your spell well oh, hold on hold on hold on shit i'm on the wrong one sorry <clears throat> uh this is where hold on give me a second was that like in character the professor was saying all that like oh, they step on something or shit. hold on hold on i stepped on a bug of some sort now <laughs> uh, the perfect test of your newly found abilities your spell may uh, go down in history like the ever famous fire bolt and he holds his hand out as his it ignites in flame before it dies down and he looks around hoping for to see amazement and bewilderment from the students he looks at your group in particular. Are you amazed or bewildered? No. F no. No, flat <laughs> passive. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. he lets out an audible sigh before he continues. Down below us is an ancient ruin that we used to put your fledgling, that we used to put your fledgling abilities to the test. However, the threats below are very real. Because of this, we'll allow, and he's kind of like counting with his fingers and nods and, in two days to test your abilities. You're free to descend at any time, but I do recommend checking the library and see if you can pick and study some more spells so that you'll truly be prepared. It's rather dark down there, and unless you wish to use torches, <laughs> maybe time to find ah. a more elegant solution. And he just kind of walks away after Al's like laughter. Now, uh, since you are year one students, the labyrinth has many halls and entryways. When you first descend, there's a bell of water that marks your way. The one that is filled with clear water is the hallway that I want you to descend and go down. If you find a bell of water that's dyed any other color, you are not to enter. It is dangerous, and that is meant for the later year students. You will not find what you seek there. And if you get yourselves killed, well, it is not our responsibility. As the possibility is there. So, don't go goofing around. Are there any questions? Uh, Tremor raises his hand. <laughs> yes, Noogie Man, sir. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> When did I get this name again? Was it last session? I think, right? Yeah, when he mage handed his uh, hair. Oh. oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, on him? Yeah. Yeah. Why is he embracing that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh... I heard all your friends call it. I figured it was a cute little nickname they gave you. <laughs> You're not my friend, Professor. Ooh. I know that. <laughs> my question was. Have all these powerful mages really not come up with a better way of labeling doors than putting colored buckets of water out front? I suppose you have a more elegant solution? Yes, you can write on the door. You can just lock them. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of different ways you could prevent people from going in the wrong door. Well, then he thinks to himself a little bit. Lock the door, write a note. Uh... No, I think we should keep the hallways open for anyone that's ignorant enough to think that they can go into a deeper part of the labyrinth. I mean, if you feel capable, you're more than welcome to explore it. There just won't be really any sort of reward waiting for you down there. It's a pointless venture. We also leave it open mm. because other students can come and go as they please. Okay. Is, is that all no right? The questions. All right. Anyone else? Does anyone else have a question for me? Trimmer raises his hand again. Yes! <laughs> what? Can I go now? <sighs> Class dismissed. You're all free to go. <laughs> Trimmer starts going for the library. <laughs> okay. Shall we leave? Who are you asking? The general vicinity of friends? Yes, let's go. Come on. 
Um, I was gonna step aside. Ah, for you, Gideon. Oh, thank you, Al. Okay, you don't have. We can walk. Let's let's. Nope. Let's not do that. Oh, thank you. I'm just gonna. Walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you have one more class before your lunch and free period, where you're able to then go to the library and study and do everything that you'd like to do at that point. Yeah, but can't we just cut class? I mean. Ooh. I mean, it's the first day of classes. <laughs> I mean, you're free to do that if you wish. Yeah, you are. Uh, what do we the know class? the name of the next class? Uh, defense against the dark arts. Ooh. I, I don't know if I want to skip that one. I feel like we yeah, I don't that that one. <laughs> if it was herbology, I'd be down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, right. No one likes herbology. <laughs> yeah, trimmer's down. He won't skip this time. Hold on, wait. I something. I think a sound clip played. What what uh what the what was the class called? Defense against the dark arts. No, no, that's not it. Defense against the uh, Arcana spells is is what the name of the class is. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I yeah. must have misheard. Yeah, I I must have said <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> TM TM TM. So where um <laughs> uh so are you going to the class or are you skipping? Yeah, we're going to the class. Yes. All right, Trimmer will. <laughs> we first try to get a good seat. <laughs> Wait for the group. Uh, They're already here. Yeah, there's people already sitting and ready to go. How? Oh. They got here so fast. Zoop. <laughs> Jeez, mm. Jesus. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Mm -hmm. um, Actually, you know what? I'm going to sit next to uh, to L. Ellie, El, Ellie. Ellie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ellie. Wow. And Kraken remembers a, an NPC's name. Come and... along, Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. No. Gideon just smiles. I like, love ear to ear. I love it. Uh, Ellie holds up her hand to you uh, like, as if she was giving a, a small wave to motion. Is it hello. a shake, a hand five, or a wave? It is ha a hand up, fingers extended. But not waving the hand. Looks like a high five to me. I'm gonna go for it. Uh, her hand bounces back. She shakes it a little bit, as it, but but playfully, as if it was in pain. And she smiles. I he'll smile back. <laughs> Greetings, students. And let me go ahead and uh, get you over there. <laughs> I am Professor Cogswin, your instructor in the defense against the arcane arts. Uh, he bears a striking familiarity with the gnome wizard that Al created. Holy <laughs> 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 oh, shit! Okay. <laughs> I was gonna look around, like see if anyone notices that. <laughs> he, looks, he looks like with an excited face, like, <laughs> <laughs> I saw him earlier in a text book. <laughs> and uh, what is your name there, young student? I'm Aldorus Valerian. Aldorus, I admire your spectacles. It helps you see, I, I believe. Indeed, they oh. do help my vision, though I am capable of sight without them, though it is all a little fuzzy. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, so he, he he starts the class. He kind of goes on. And then he clears his throat. Now, uh, who here? I'm going to need an assistant. Raise your hand. A... Oh. Ah, uh, yes, Al. Uh, come, come up here. Come, come up to the stage. That's very well. Go you'll, you'll, you'll... get him, Al. <laughs> I would ask you not to uh, assault me, if you would please. Okay, stand back a little bit, if you'd be so kind. Ow. Thank you, Al. Thank you. Thank you. Now, are you familiar with the spell uh, Magic Missile? Yes, I'm quite adept at it. I would like you to uh, stand back a little bit, please. Watch the step, though. Stand back a little bit. All right. Just a little bit. A uh, little more, please. A little more. I don't just on the stage, but I need you off the stage right now. Well, no, actually, no. Hold on. Hey, go up on the stage. Uh, I will stand down on there. It's about you, Al. Head on over there. 
Yeah, back okay. up. No, up there you go. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Wonderful. All yeah. right. <clears throat> Cast magic missile. On me. On, on, him. on me, though. Yes, please. Ow. All right. Magic missile. And he's going to cast. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to oh cast God. it at him. Uh, how many missiles? Three or four? Okay. Oh, four. Yeah. Um, and then he <laughs> holds up his hand and goes, one, 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 and then a shield appears around him. While Wait, he's was he yelling one? No, he's not saying he one. He's going one. like that, but oh, in his voice. <laughs> one, 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 one. <laughs> one, 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 one. <laughs> um, and you see a spectral shield, like a, a shield of magical force around him as the missiles just absolutely like evaporate and dissipate like, wow. a, against it. <laughs> yes, Al, this was very impressive. You could go wow. and sit down now. Thank you so much, Al. A round of applause for Al over here. He was absolutely Wait, charming. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is anyone clapping? Eleanor's gonna yawn exasperatedly. <laughs> Tremor will sarcastic <laughs> clap. Uh, I think Gideon's doing the whole whistle thing. That good whistle that I'm not gonna do. The mic, oh. I love here. But yeah, wow, we're like all, we're the entire spectrum of supportive friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my dear students. Is the shield spell? Your assignment this week is to learn it. It will be a great defense, not only against those of marshaled capabilities, but also it is a good defense against budding mages who like to use magic missile on you all the time. It is a lovely reactionary spell that allows you to not only dissipate the uh, homing force of the magic missile, uh, but functions is probably one of the most powerful shields ever conceived by by mortal humanoid. You'll find the uh, book over in the library. Spend some time studying it. Today. I would like to see what you create next week. Uh, the book, there should be plenty out over there for you to check out. I believe it is called... Uh, something. What was, what was it again? <laughs> So it's magic missile in the deed. Yes, the cure all for magic missile. Get on over to the library at that point and go ahead, pick yourself up the book and, and yes. Um, oh. While he's talking, Brett, I I had a question. Yes. Um, first of all, can you describe what he's what he's wearing? It's like a looks like a little like raincoat. It's a, a hat. Yeah, it's a it's a simple like tight robe with a with a with a small leather uh little little leather like cap wizard cap mm -hmm. and he's got some uh like like some leather thin leather shoulders around um okay tremor is as he kind of feels like it's getting boring um he's gonna look over uh to ellie and see you know try to get her attention <laughs> She uh, looks at you and kind of gives you a shrug as if to ask what. I uh, I cast Mage Hand and I and I show her that I'm doing so. And I'm going to have it stealth uh, behind this pillar up to the pedestal and try to knock off his hat. Okay. Make an Arcana check to stealthily do that. Okay. Mm, not great. Um, so the hand kind of looks a little decrepit, a little bit <laughs> twitching, <laughs> a little bit as it uh, as it begins to like hover over behind the uh, the, the pillar. It has it's hiding behind the pillar. It's kind of like accidentally knocking up against it. Uh, the professor kind of looks towards the pillar, shrugs continues his conversation uh and the hand just kind of at that point like quickly like thrusts outside beyond it and knocks off the professor's half hat before it uh dissipates okay ah! he's uh, gonna pretend like he was doing nothing um ellie will Ooh, what's the uh God, what? It's, there's, it's not diplomacy. I, my, my fifth, my third and fifth edition are mixing up. 
Uh, make a, you know what? Make a charisma check. Oh boy. But do so at advantage because you're doing it with such majestic Cause flourish. Because I'm, I'm so funny. Because you're All so right. funny. One, two. Okay. Second one go. I saw one. Ah, oh. but that's a save. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you do? Okay. Hopefully you're better with the other one. Oh, Jesus. What are my rolls today? Um, uh, uh. She lets out a light snicker. Yes! I'm in. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, what's happening up here when that happens? Uh, must have been the wind. Uh, as he'll... <laughs> <laughs> walk, <laughs> he'll walk over, pick up his hat, kind of like, not even like gracefully, like, hold on, not even gracefully bow, like, kneel down. He like goes full, bends down, picks up hat, and then uh, he puts it on. He puts it back on, and then continues his continues his class. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? Watching him intently. <laughs> <laughs> Eleanor, how are you feeling about the classes that you've been in so far? Like visually Fine. on your face, like what is it? What's if we're um, at your face right now? What what is it right now? She carries herself, you know, as kind of a know-it-all, and her head is held high, and she's intently listening. Good student. <laughs> Good student. Good student. So. After about an uh, an hour, hour and a half of this, uh, Professor Cogswin will sort of close a book that he was reading from, uh, describing the the wonders of shields and the best way to to defend against those that wish to uh, assault you with magic missile. He goes, ah, well, I believe that's the end of this uh, uh, class. Thank you very much for listening, I suppose. Uh, Next week... You'll have to demonstrate your capabilities with shields. Uh, you're dismissed now. Uh, enjoy your lunch and, and free period afterwards to pursue your studies. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> as we're as we're walking out, I uh, I say to Al, I lean over and I say, "You notice who's not here to learn about this spell?" Who's that? <clears throat> uh, who's not here that may need this spell? Um, well, it depends. If you go through his strength, there's many Malcolm, people. Malcolm, Malcolm's not here! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so, uh, when Al sees the orc, he's going to take one step and we'll find Gideon and, uh, and try and avoid her at all costs. Avoid... Hey, did, did, Avoiding the, uh, avoiding the uh, orc woman? <laughs> He's intimidated oh. by her. Oh. <laughs> Greetings, best friend! She waves to Eleanor. Uh-huh. Eleanor is gonna uh, muster a smile, but it's a fake smile. <laughs> I assume all of her smiles are fake. Oh, yeah, probably. Um. <laughs> she's, uh, she's just gonna wave gently while passing by. Oh, she blushes. Oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> what uh, is her Trimmer. name again? I forget her name. Oh. Sorry. What is her name? Brunbush. It starts with a B. Brun- Brunbush. Is Brunbush. Right? Okay. Cool. Thank you. Or Brunbush. Brunbush. Uh, Trimmer will wave at Ellie and then run to catch up the others. Uh, she will give you a smile and wave back. That's it. He's not gonna push his luck. Uh, <laughs> so, and she like rushes ahead oh. of you. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> like full charge. <laughs> what are you doing for lunch, best friend, Eleanor? <laughs> oh, uh, um, uh, well, I, I think I was actually gonna go study, you know, try to learn this spell, but. What spell? Uh, you know, the spell that Professor Cogswin just taught us 
Ah, uh, yes, the one where he blew his hat off his head. Funny spell. Right. Yes, that <laughs> is the spell. Do um, you want to study together? Oh, I, I perform much better solo, typically. Uh, Same. When I'm think... on the hunt, I do not like it when my friends watch me while I'm on the hunt. One time, I mounted a boar and ripped its head off. It was glorious, <laughs> but it was very bashful when my brothers were watching me. I understand not performing under pressure. I'm do we do so we see like all this happening? <laughs> I mean, she's screaming it in the middle yeah. of the classroom. <laughs> do, do you think any of us should go over and kind of rescue her? Absolutely not. Nope. That's <laughs> <I> tried. <laughs> That's valid. That's valid. All right, I, I will not hold you up any longer. I wish you the best for your studies. And then she oh, offers a you. hand. Uh, oh. I. Uh, she puts her hand out hesitantly. I will be gentle. You have a dainty hand. And then she shakes it lightly. Oh, oh. <laughs> Eleanor is like visibly shaking, even though she's like shaking it lightly because she's so much bigger than her. Thank uh, you for this interaction. Have a good day. <laughs> you too. Thank you. She's Thank you. Practicing. Thank you. Th uh oh. Thank, thank you. Goodbyes are hard. All right, I'm. She stares gonna... at you intently. All right, I'll, I'll see you around. Take care. Watch out, you're getting an attack of op if you walk out of her. <laughs> <laughs> Might get a friendly back pat. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Eleonora. Goodbye. Eleonora, wait. Yes? Do not die in the labyrinth. Yeah. It will make me sad. Oh, oh. I won't die. Don't worry about that. Good. You too. Uh, oh. She blushes a little. Oh, you too. <laughs> the magic words. <laughs> All right. She's still I looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, must be going. I'll okay. see you around. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, Eleonora. <laughs> As as she approaches, Trimmer's gonna go. Ooh. Shut up! <laughs> Quiet. Um. Let's go study. So, after you have a lovely little lunch break, do you head? Uh, where do you go? Do you head over no. to the library? No, we don't. I had oh. something I wanted to do it during lunch. Yes. What would you? <laughs> what would you like to do? Force <laughs> uh, of chaos. Yeah. Uh, I let me uh, clear up the the courtyard real quick. So. You all can be there. What are we lunch. having for lunch? And can you describe uh, the drinks? I'm going somewhere with this. Trust me. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay, give me. Give me. Give me one second, please. Processing campaign. Uh, split pea soup with a ham hock. The drink itself is a sort of tart. Can be the the choice between water, a tart apple cider or some <laughs> hard to describe uh it's milk but it has like almost the consistency of like buttermilk so it's a, a little mm. thicker but it is still milk mommy's milkies got it oh uh, please mm. you did yeah. it you you did it you freaking <laughs> did it you did it now yep. what is <laughs> what is the uh what's the color of the uh the tart drink the tart oh apple my. cider. Uh, it would. I know what you're gonna do. It kind of looks like a, like a beer almost. Mm, don't do it. I'm gonna um, take some for the road. Okay. And I'll see if I can take some soup for the road too. Uh, okay. If you would like, well, let me get you guys over there. Uh, feel free to put your characters out in the usual sitting place. Sorry, on you. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, after you. No, nope. nope. After you. After you. Um. By the way, our Duris would have definitely studied uh, every lunch menu for the next couple of weeks, so he can prepare and stuff in advance for the food. Excellent. <laughs> next next session, I will write out an entire lunch menu for a month. Thank you. Hey, thank <laughs> you. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Get used to it. This group is going to make you do some overtime. 
Uh, Nigel will will come up and uh, sit next to Tremor as he usually does. Hello, hey, Tremor. How are you? What happened to your voice? Are you okay? Oh, oh, it's just very <laughs> cold. Hello, Tremor. <laughs> it's very cold. <laughs> are Are you making fun of the way I? I'm just very excited to see you. Cute. That was your first day of classes. It was. And then he looks down. Bad. Why? I have to go in the labyrinth with Malcolm. Oh, he's still around? We haven't seen him. Uh, yeah, I think he was over in the infirmary. He just got out. Hmm. He, he's very quiet today. That's good. It's better than the alternative. Mm. Am I right? And I look over at Al. What? What did you say? Yeah, forget it. <laughs> mm, unlikely. <laughs> the fucking photo fucking memory. <laughs> or is it called? Uh, let me get everyone's familiars out. What is Lumi uh, here doing? We here we go again. Lumi uh, is just chilling. What is? Next to uh, Eleanor. What is Oz? What is Oswin doing? No. <laughs> um, outdoors is oh, no. he's put his bag down, put um Oswin on top of uh, the bag just so he's not on the snow. Oh. His little mace flail uh tendrils kind of like are slowly moving around. You've come to find that usually means he's pleased. Ah. What? I said yes. <laughs> I just heard a sound. <laughs> sad. Uh, what is Otto doing? Otto is digging in the snow here, flinging it behind him, and probably hitting Oswin with it. Oh my god! What a little troublemaker. Uh, what is Risk doing? Uh, Risk is probably going to attempt to appease this ferret by playing dead over here like Ugh! and then see if 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 uh, the ferret will play with with him just running over and fucking collapsing <laughs> <laughs> yeah just very obviously not dead but looking pretty darn dead uh lumi's going to look to eleonora as if like requesting permission and eleonora's going to nod and lumi's going to go play i don't know why i Woo! mentioned lumi I... with little like teacup like just sitting there like Cubans. <laughs> Let's cross some yeah, I actually love I never thought about that. Yeah, I guess your pet would be I as like that. formal yeah, as yeah, you yeah. are. That's very Great. true. <laughs> uh yeah, they both are playing in the snow then. Cautiously, carefully. Yes. <laughs> um Nigel will ask, so what are you what are you all doing today? We're going in a dungeon. T today? <laughs> I mean, no. What do you mean, no? You don't want to get it started? We've got to study fast, don't we? Why don't we do both? He never said they're off hours, did he? <laughs> this is Trevor true. makes a fair point. We can, we can hit the books and then hit the dungeon. But what if we get in trouble? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the Ni fuck? Nigel scared. What? You guys don't have a laugh? No. Yeah, Wait, but that was your, that was your normal I find something funny laugh? Look. <laughs> if we're all going to be famous wizards someday, you got to have a laugh. Otherwise, no one's going to take you seriously. Really? <laughs> yes. I Oh. What, you think like the common folk, you're just gonna go, <laughs> and that's it? No. You gotta have some gravitas. Mm. Come on, Nigel, give me your best laugh. Uh, okay, I, I'll, I'll try. He'll hop off the bench. <clears throat> Aha! Uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it, it, sorry, Jeez. and it just hides behind a scarf, embarrassed. Okay, you gotta go lower, all right? Right here, I'm gonna... <clears throat> like smack him in the in like the sternum. Uh, he there. Feel he, it. He falls off the bench. 
Oh. I cast magic. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <It's a trigger. laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, um, ha ha, ha ha, ho, ha ha. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm really honestly, bad at this. It hides. Honestly, better than your first attempt, though. So you know. Thank you. Yeah. Whatever. How about Good you guys? Job. I look at Al. What would you, you like? You would like me to laugh? Let's hear it. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> Nigel Clutz. Like... Why does he kind of sound like Otto? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Nigel, was that a laugh, or did you just get punched? I'm not. I'm not entirely sure if there's a correct way to laugh. I don't find much funny. Hmm. Especially not you. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Gideon oh. chuckled. Oh. Gideon chuckled. Oh. Let's hear. Let's hear Gideon's chuckle. He just. <laughs> that was a good one, Al. It was a joke, what, right? What? You're just. You're just joking. Uh, Nigel. Otto's gonna let's out a light chuckle. Oswin. And try to fly away. <laughs> oh my god. Magic missile straight to Otto. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Alright, so first of all, can I get an initiative roll between both uh, Tremors and uh, Al? To see what okay. happens first. Okay. <laughs> now, Al, what? if you're first... Uh, if I'm first, it would be a minor illusion to trick him. Okay. I'm second, it's magic missile. All right. I'm trying to find... Where's initiative again? On, uh, uh, what's it going? Uh, on d, &D Beyond. On roll the left 20. of armor class. Should we be ah. rolling the initiative what? of auto? Uh, or yeah, of... Since, since, it's, it, since you, the familiars are part of you guys. Uh, oh, I didn't myself. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no matter how you oh. no matter how you look at it, uh, so Otto uh, grabs hold of Oswin and begins to fly away, and ah! it's, you see. Uh, do you just ca are you casting the spell or do you are you just going completely for it, Al? Would I know if if that dies? Is it coming back? Is it like a traditional familiar, or is it uh, that thing dies? It's dead. If 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 your familiar's dead, it's dead. Oh. Okay. Then he, he probably would do that. If he, if he could have cast it back, he definitely would have done it. Um. Instead, then a minor illusion of a much thicker, <laughs> bigger homunculus. Uh, that is in the air right next to him, and it kind of flying towards him goes. <clears throat> Yeah, <laughs> just this kind of like double the size and width kind of homunculus that looks very much like him. Bigger jaw, uh, but like rippling muscles just all down. Uh, it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Trying to intimidate it. A thick monculus, if you will. Ooh, mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. A thick monculus, exactly. Um, and then, yep. Tremor, you see this 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 thick monculus appear now chasing after your homunculus. What do you do? Uh, well, do I roll to check if it's an illusion? I mean, uh, I, if I you, think if, he would know. It's more. I'll, yeah, I mean, if you'd like to go ahead and roll for that, yeah. Usually deceiving uh, other part, party members. Uh, insight. That's good. My spell save DC, right? Ooh. Yeah, and that, that that definitely beats the spell. So you know, yeah. you you know, it's an illusion. All right, I'll just have Otto swoop over and bring Oswin to his lap. I feel like they, I don't know it why it was like fly like you guys were like miles away by now. That's how I envisioned no, it. No, no, no. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna like fucking throw him off the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and bring him back now. You can apologize for what you said. What did I say? I don't remember, but I remember I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not apologizing. You give him back. You'll get him back when you apologize. I'll send Otto to my room. Um, before you do oh. that, Nigel will look up to you, Tremor, 
with this like sad look and it's just and he just says don't take someone's familiar away and then he kind of holds out his hands to symbolize the fact that he doesn't have one but wishes he had one oh my god Trevor will look at him <laughs> you can't let people push you around you gotta assert yourself yeah but that doesn't mean you have to be you have to do evil how is this evil look at him and he points at Al's face what does that look like blank face <laughs> he, look at him he's heartbroken he's heartbroken he's a he's a he's a wreck that's that's just al while this is happening can i try to send lumi over to snatch uh oswin from auto like yeah. jump in the air uh yeah roll initiative okay. oh nice oh um that's a nat 20. Yeah. So nice. while this is happening, um, you notice Tremor, uh, Lumi, running past you with a snail kind of like in its paws slash mouth. <laughs> is it, is Wait, it like that? It was uncontested? It just happens? Uh, is, I mean, is, is Otto holding on to... Yeah, he's uh, holding on to him. Uh, I, have you both make uh, arcane arcana checks? And that'll be like your grapple, essentially. Oh, baby. Bring it. Damn. Have you seen that gif of the raccoon stealing cat food and how it runs off? <laughs> yes. That's how, how Lumi's holding. <laughs> yes, dude. Oh, Tremor, did you roll an 18? Yeah. Sorry to see it. Um,. So Otto's holding on, uh, and I would say Lumi at that point, yeah, would manage to get it away from Otto. Otto would notice this, by the way. Probably grunt. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> pointing, pointing at Luby, I would assume. Yeah, with its, like, very human-like digits, like, just pointing at <laughs> Ew, his dude. tiny fingers. <laughs> Gross word. Like a fucking yeah. Renaissance painting point. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's like those gross babies from the old Renaissance paintings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lumi's um, gonna um, attempt yeah. to bring Oswin back to Eldorus. Ow! Mm. <laughs> Just gonna pick it up, pop it in the bag, and close it off. <laughs> Thank you very much, Eleanora. She just kind of nods and looks away as if she had nothing to do with it. But Keep she your commandos away from me! <laughs> he was just playing. Don't be so serious. Well, well, last time like your him. homunculus played, we uh, I almost killed a student. I think we should go to the library. <laughs> it seems like a you problem, but okay, I agree with you there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are we moving to the library? Yes. yes. The library. The library. I'm, I'm going to keep Otto right behind Al, though, the entire time. Oh, Walking in two hands. Back like in front of him, he's looking behind him going... <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. You have arrived in the library. Feel free to put your characters there. The library itself is massive, uh, filled with a bunch of books. Hang back. Um, so a couple of, uh, amendments to, to reading books to find out stuff about, uh, that, um, to read through a book to get its essentially like core content, I suppose that would not be, be anything useful, uh, does take an hour, um, with the still the, uh, the studying, of course, the study session being four hours. Also an amendment to the study session, um, that I included, I don't know if you guys read through it or not. Uh, you guys can do like a sort of like a, a cram session with your studying. So instead of taking four hours, you can spend two hours to try and get the material that you need. Uh, but you roll a disadvantage when you're going through that study mm. session. So it's up to you. And uh, your time is limited. I would say it's about one o'clock now. 
um, and lights off at 10 in the evening where you're not allowed to wander the halls. Mm. Nothing, um, obviously nothing, that's not like, uh, like the doors are locked, you can't leave, but I mean, that is, those are the sort of like rules so behind it. You could essentially, because if it's one, you could essentially do four cram sessions if you did really well. Well, you also, but if you went, you also need you to read two. the contents of the books to know what's in them. Mm -hmm. mm. So, um, so what are you all doing? Are you all just like scouring the library for important books? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, I was gonna say we should do like a group investigation check, or you know, split into two. And yes. two. Um, I would say after the first thirty minutes, you would probably have all the the books gathered, the or at least the title of the books that would interest you. Mm. Um, Let's go to the chairs. So there's a there's a couple of. <laughs> <laughs> A uh, couple of things of note. Uh, you've heard of this woman. Her name is uh, Madam Hush, and she is the head librarian. <laughs> um, oh rules of the library. Uh, so let me get you guys over here real quick. Over There's here. a lot of cobwebs in this library. Well, over here in this corner is uh, the old archives. Uh, mm. Students are not admitted back there. Mm. <gasps> You can't just tell us that. Those are the rules. <laughs> now we want to go. <laughs> That's entirely up to you as a player. As a player, I'd love to go. Al would never break the rules. Yeah. Tremor does not care to go, but would love to break the rules. <laughs> <laughs> He's breaking the rules by not going. <laughs> so, internal rules. So it is about... 1.30, I would say. You've gathered up all of the books. Uh, I shall read the titles to you, and if any of you are going to read them, since there's four of you, yes. each of you can read your own books and then kind of share with everyone what the, it is, and then you can choose to do study sessions to uh, learn the spells within the books, if there are spells in them. Um, so, first book is Basic Runes, Volume 1. Uh, another book is Conjure, Illumination, and Light. Then there is a book called Dazzling Paint. You may want to just keep track, just so you can right figure out which one you're reading. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, there is a bundled up scroll, uh, which the reading for these papers will take 30 minutes instead of an hour because it's not a full book. Uh, simply labeled Familiar Bond. Uh, there is a book called Mythical Monsters. There's a bundle of papers called Solar Whip. There is a book called Spell Extraction. There is a book called oh, The shit. Armored Mage. I, I know what that's about. There's a book called The Cure All for Magic Missile. Uh, there is a book called The Hushed Painting. Mm. Mm. And then there I is, and then oh. there's a bundle of papers called. Wolf Swift's Blessed Shackles. Say that one again. Wolf Swift's <laughs> Blessed Shackles. Oh, fuck. Al, could you post that to the group? Shackles. I can. Thank you. I like the sound of a few of them. That's <laughs> we should divvy it up. We have probably we spent the whole night reading <laughs> up so until sad. bedtime. So He's going to have, <laughs> have a chance to get two books in each. <laughs> He's shouting at this point. I can imagine. <laughs> oh my god! Let's get to it, and then we can share if we enjoy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Brett, what time is it again right now? It's 1.30. Okay. 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 Um, wait, can you post the the list in the group? You um, did. Oh, oh, did. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Al. I had the wrong group up. Okay. Oh, fuck. Um, do you guys want to shout out which ones you're interested in? I, yes. I have a few that are taking my fancy. Um... Mythical Monsters, Solar Whip, Spell Extraction, and, of course, the Cure-All are my favorites. 
I'm interested in uh, spell extraction, the armored mage, Wolf Swift's blessed shackles, and maybe dazzling paint. Mm. <laughs> uh, I think I want to. I'm interested in uh, bottle, the familiar bond bundled scroll and uh, basic runes. Oh. <laughs> Your reactions. <laughs> uh, I'll do conjure illumination and. The other two I'm interested in are Armored Mage and Carol for Magic Missile, so. Alright, so, got an idea. If I do spell extraction f mm, first, <laughs> and if it's not very good, Tremio, then you, you don't have to do it as your second one. I, I won't pass the book over to you. And, and then you could do Armored Mage, and if that's not for any good, then you could tell Eleanor. Well, aren't, don't we do better if we do it together? Oh, you're right. But <laughs> so, so you have to, so you still have to read the book to know what the contents are of it, and then if you, <laughs> oh. want to, and then if it was just it takes an hour. Okay, uh, so it's different. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh, but yeah. So it, reading the book takes an hour. Right? Yeah, and then studying. If you're like, oh, this is a good spell. Let's all learn together. You can spend a study session okay. doing it. What also, if, what if we already know we want to learn it? Can we just start studying it without having to read the book first? Uh, you would have to. You still have to read the book to know the contents to to learn it. Essentially. Okay, so that that one hour's requirement to yes to, to be know, in studying. On yeah, to to know what's in the book. Okay, so yeah, I think what just said makes sense so if uh al wants to take what spell extraction, spell extraction. although right. would i have to read spell extraction no at that point it? at that point al can give you like a summary okay. of like what oh, it is nice. and then you all can just learn it at that point okay i'll right. i'll do the armored mage if uh um eleanor wants to do conjure light yeah and shady if you want I'm gonna go with familiar bond first. Okay, that's that's 30 minutes though. So yeah, you'll familiar have bond's 30 gonna be a 30, uh, yeah 30 minute spell while we're still reading. Okay. Um, so I have a question. Can we can we reading. check out books? Can we check books out yeah. of the library? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Oh, nice. Is there a limit? Uh, two per student. Okay. Mm. So whatever we don't read, I vote that we just check out and bring back to our rooms. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, I'm. Who did I not give a, spe a book to? Um, was I supposed to have received one right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Okay. Uh, all right. I've given you all your books. If you would like to go ahead and and take a peek and and give them a little read through. I have a question. Okay. Yes. Uh, for familiar bond, does it is it one bonus damage per roll? Yes. Per, oh. per so if it if for example if hold on let me let me let me pull this up so everyone can so so will it give four bonus damage for magic missile one per missile correct okay spicy I will pull up familiar bond oh shit right now there we go um yeah And then, hold on, let me get some other stuff situated while we're doing that as well. Let's go to Eleonora, mm -hmm. who's reading. I'm just, I'm just trying to show what what books are right now. Mm -hmm. So you're reading Conjure and Illumination currently. Yes. Excellent. Is she reading two. Conjure Illumination with Light is the uh, oh, okay. is, is the name of the book, essentially. And then if once you guys have, have figured out something, uh, just let me know. I have. <laughs> I did. I have. Okay. Uh, Al, do you want to share what you've learned? Ah, yes. Interesting book, this one. Turns out that spell extraction is the form of, upon a deceased opponent... You can replicate a spell that it might have used, or one of its capabilities. Oh, I want that bad. Yes. Yeah. 
that has got trimmer all over it. Um, mine's uh, mine's a bit practical for my tastes. It's uh, just flat out armor, mage armor, really. Basically, when you cast it, you'll become harder to hit as if you were wearing actual armor without the drawbacks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Eleonora, have you learned anything? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's as you would expect. You touch an object and it lights for an hour. Illuminates light. Wow. In, in the dungeon, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. it is 2.30 now. Uh, are you guys going to read another book or are you going to have a little study session or are you doing something else? Uh, let me, like, Gideon, Gideon just wants to share what Familiar Bond actually does. Um... Yeah, because you unless did you, were you guys able to read it in the in roll twenty? Okay, Mm-mm. so basically there's a bunch of different bonuses you can get. You become closer with your familiar for the next eight hours, and you can choose one of these bonuses: plus one to AC. All your cool. spells deal one bonus damage. This is really oh. interesting for this campaign. Double proficiency bonus with Arcana checks, which is what we make when we study. So oh. yeah, I think this is like a min max spell. Like if we learn this first, it's like spicy. Oh. Or we can get ten extra temporary HP. Uh, now we yeah. should learn that and then read learn the books better. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's, uh, it's a good idea. Now, in fact, if we learn that, we don't even have to study together. <laughs> we can just go off and do our own thing. That's true. Well, you still get advantage uh, on rolls when you're studying together. But don't we get an advantage already from the that spell? Mm-hmm. No, it, it, it uh, doubles the proficiency oh. bonus. Yeah, so basically all of our, but all of our base rolls then is 10. Nice. All right. We all have plus five, I believe. I'm in. Yeah. I'd well, say we all so start with this so together. It'll be plus you're, seven because we've already got proficiency, I think. Yeah, your proficiency oh, is, I think, plus two currently, and then it would double to four. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. But it's going to get so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Level. yeah. All right, let's all do that one. Okay. Uh, So what are you guys learning familiar bond first? Yeah. Are you and we're all going to work study together. Is it a, are you doing it as a normal study? Are you doing it as a uh, like a cramming session? Or are you... Well, actually, if if we cram, do we negate the disadvantage and get advantage because there's four of us Correct. doing it? You know? Well, if you're, all, right. if you're all studying you this... A straight roll? So if you're all studying the same thing, yes, it's just a straight roll. You don't get disadvantage anymore. But would we get advantage if there's four of us, you know? No, no. It would just... It, would just, it just negates, yeah. I, I think we should just study normally then to get advantage. Yeah. Yes. How long does it take to study that one? Half an hour. Uh, well, actually, yeah, that one will take two hours to study because it's a cantrip. Nice. It's a cantrip? Yes. Hog champ, dude. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So two uh, arcana checks. Yep. Right Ooh. Ooh. I quitted. Ooh. I quitted. I quitted. That one was bad. Oh, Tremor. Ooh. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, no. Tremor, I regret to inform you that you failed to learn the spell. I think I did, too. <laughs> uh, Eleonora also failed to learn the spell. Jesus. We rolled the same exact thing. Not uh, because never. Gideon and I know how to study together. <laughs> <laughs> Aldoris and Gideon, you both you both have learned the spell. Uh. I'll go to Eleanor. Look, I don't, I don't buy you. I don't think I figured that one out. Do you want to try again? <laughs> yeah, I think I was going to. Fortunately, I was uh, shake Gideon's hand. Uh, yeah. a, additional attempts does lower the DCs uh, altogether okay. as you're continuing to. Does it take as uh, long? Oh, yes. Carry the, the one. Yes, it does. Oh. Carry the one. You, ha- you have to do it. You would have to do another two-hour study session. Damn. Okay. Hey, well, uh, I think it's worth it. Yeah, uh, Al, while they while they restudy familiar bond, should we try to do a oh, quick man. session on a different spell? Mm, we we, we, we yeah. could study one for two hours while they do this for two hours. Uh, we could cram one. You're right, Eleonora. You have learned the spell, and that's oh, a, a, over God. over two hours. And then, uh, what are you doing, uh, Tremors? Nice. Ooh, nice. Tremors nice. has also learned the spell. Uh, over in D and D mastery. Uh, over um, in D and D Beyond, uh, I don't know if Familiar Bond. Did I give a mastery for Familiar Bond? No, Familiar Bond doesn't have a mastery. It's just that's what it is. Okay. Uh, but yes, you all have learned the spell. Um, and so in D and D Beyond, there should already be a Familiar Bond spell, and you can just add it to your nice. cantrips. Cool. Um, so because that was they were doing that for an extra two hours, right? Yes. Uh, we could probably cram a book. Yes. Risk cramming a book. 
Yeah. Um, Normal rolls. And how long is Familiar Bond to, to, to cast? It, it, it only takes 10 minutes to cast, and then it lasts for eight hours. So should we cast that first to get the expertise and then cram a book? Yeah, I think so. Have you yeah. prepared the spell? Have, have you? Do you have a spell slots left to prepare? Because you'd have to... Uh, you know, yeah, I do. It's a cantrip, right? That's so cool. we have three cantrips we can prepare. Yeah. Yep. If you have an, uh, if you if you have empty cantrip slots, you are more than welcome to. Uh, oh damn! I don't because I pressed the dictation. Yeah. If Ooh. you have a, if you have an empty cantrip slot, you can prepare it now. But if you oh, don't, wait, what, you so to... what are your what are your three cantrips, Joe? Uh, minor illusion, press the dictation. Oh, and I new forgot one about made. minor illusion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Um, I I have it, so I'm gonna cast it. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll wait. I can do this on my own anyway. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if, you, if you'd like to bring your your wolf out, you you can do yes. that right now. And that is your bond with your familiar, just giving you the ability at double proficiency bonus with your with all our kind checks for the next eight hours. Aww. So, cool. do we want to learn spell extraction, cram, or do we want to cram mage armor? Um, was, was there another book that was read? And then the illumination one. Yeah, the illumination one. I feel I like feel spell like... extraction or mage armor would be good, right? Yeah, I th it, I'm honestly down for either one. I think spell extraction is cooler. I think may armor might yeah. be. I'm gonna go with the cooler one. I think. I think. Let's uh, go cooler. Let's yeah, cram cool one. Cooler. All right. So just a straight roll, right? Uh, yep. Both of you make arcana checks. Uh, yeah. and shade, you had plus two to yours since you've got familiar bond. Plus so two. 11. So that's so 11. eleven. All right. So this is what that's gonna happen. Aldoris, what what were you learning? Spell extraction. All right, you have learned Crammed spell. It. You have learned spell extraction. You haven't mastered it yet, uh, but you have learned spell extraction. You can find that in D and D Beyond currently. Um, and Gideon, you were researching mage armor, correct? No, no, we were both doing spell extraction together. Oh, okay, okay. So you learned spell extraction, but at a novice level, which means if you try to cast spell extraction you have to roll a d20 if you roll a 10 or lower the spell doesn't go off it doesn't expand to your spell slot it just you failed at casting the spell you'll have to study it okay. to, you'll have to study it to get a better understanding of it, of it. and but the dcs are and lower. because we were because we were cramming together that's why we didn't have to roll disadvantage correct okay gotcha correct okay, so now we're all caught up it's yes. the same hour for each of us yes um i think eleanor i and i probably bring out our familiars for the cantrip because i have a spot yeah, so yeah, is, you do. Is it 5.30? Uh, it is currently uh, 1.30, 2.30. It is currently 5.30, yes. Okay. What do you um, want to do, Eleanor? <clears throat> she, she's... Uh, uh, I will interrupt while she's FK. Um, so, by my calculations, if we, if we were to read a new book now by the time we finish reading it we'd be kicked out of the library <laughs> what wait what's the place 10 o'clock 10 o'clock is when you're you're supposed to be back the library doesn't close before then about four and a half hours until it closes so we have to i mean we could cram a book or two why can't we just read a book isn't that only four hours oh you want to study one of the ones we've already got i see I did not understand that. Was that English? <laughs> yes. I literally didn't understand that. What did you uh, say? <laughs> oh, I said, I said you wanted to study one of the ones we've already got. I understand. Uh, <laughs> not oh, me, yeah. though. Uh, Brett is going to push caution to the wind, takes solar whip, and I'm going to start reading it normally. Uh, okay, Solar Whip will take uh, one. Oh, normally, like, or cramming it. Uh, well, we haven't read it, yet, right? it first. <clears throat> oh, you're reading yeah. it normally. Yeah, that's a, that's a third. That's a thirty minute read. Oh, it's a thirty minute read. What? Yep. Because it's a bundle of papers. Oh shit. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that now then. Okay. It's a cantrip, though, right? Yep. So sp it spends half the time to learn as well. I see. Uh, what is everyone else reading? Do you want to read this extraction thing, Eleonora? Uh, yes, let's do that. So you could study extraction since everyone's already read it and they shared it with you if you want. Oh, yes. Um, do we? Is the DC lowered because they've already gotten it and they can help us, or 
No. Uh, uh, no. This is your first time breeding it, so and they're they're okay. folk, unless they're willing to help you study it. Um, but I, yeah, unless it takes time from them. Yeah. Um, is there a mastery for it? For spell extraction, uh, there is. Yes. Mm. All right. I think we should take the full four hours. Let's nail this some bitch. Let's do it. Otto goes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh god, dude. Uh, Gideon's gonna read uh, Cure All from Magic Missile. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and just move that over. All right, Tremor, you are you doing double proficiency? Uh, yep. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, but you you get an advantage, so you get to roll again. Oh, didn't go. One sec. No worries. Boom. Uh, and yeah, you got the mastery of the spell as well. You can find spell extraction in D&D Beyond. Oh, you got mastery? Hell yeah. Uh, Eleonora, feel free mm -hmm. to... Are you, did, yeah, roll again. Um, Eleonora, you learned the spell. You didn't get a mastery of it, but you learned it. Spell okay. extraction is over in D&D Beyond. Thank Essentially, you. what it, it, it allows you to do spell extraction, um, the description of it, is if you encounter a mythical creature and it dies, you can tap its head extract it potentially extract a spell from it if there's no spells to extract you don't spend the spell slot if you have a mastery of it uh you're able to share spells that you've extracted with other other mages other willing mages wow uh Damn. with oh shit with uh up to your intelligence modifier they have to be Damn. all in, in touch range though now you guys are all gonna be my best friends <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm letting myself finally <laughs> friends um and Trevor, once he figures out what the mastery is, he's going to look smugly at the rest of them. <laughs> so like, Give me a carbon if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Um, all right, so that's what you learned. That was a four-hour study session of learning spell extraction. Um, you read Solar Whip, correct, Al? Yes, but he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna look kind of annoyed when he reads it because he's going to put down, I don't need this. Um, <laughs> all it does is, is you create a whip and uh, and, and you whip someone and, and, and it burns them with radiant light, and I also Something. can hit their friend next to them. Tremor's gonna pick up the book on mage armor and go to check it out. Okay. We still got. We still got. Oh wait. Okay. This is ten o'clock, right? Um, it's it's nine. Guys. It'd be nine thirty at this it's point. Yeah. Yeah. Because I only spent half an hour reading that. Correct. Scroll. It's, so you still have four made, hours yeah. if you want to read a okay. book. Uh, can I? Yeah. Can I? Uh, what's Gideon doing during this time? Uh, I read the cure all for magic missile. Um, and then I'm trying to decide if I want to spend these four hours to just learn it right now. So, if you want to learn it with me, Al, if you want to hang out and yeah. read this book together. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. So is that with advantage? Yep. Cause yeah, because we'll take yeah, the full four. Shield also has a mastery. Come on. Uh, plus oh. two, so it's a ten. Uh, Gideon, you got a novice understanding of it. Cool. Uh, Aldor, Aldoris, you got a mastery of shields. Damn. Uh, the mastery My of shield. Teacher. The mastery of shields uh, allows you to instead of being a reactionary spell, which it like adds plus five to your armor class when you're attacked or it deflects magic missiles, uh, you can morph the shield into a smaller shield like a buckler. Uh, it provides you instead with plus two armor. Uh, it lasts a minute instead of an instant reaction. Um, oh fuck. Yeah, so, Whoa. but it shrinks down, so it's no longer plus five, it's plus two armor. And uh, because it's smaller, though, if you get magic missile cast towards you, uh, you can dissipate one of them, not all of them. Mm. But um, it's, it's a more utilitary uh, version of it with that mastery. Does it count as concentration, or is it nope. not? Oh, wow, cool. Oh, wow, that's really nice. So you can put that on top of mage armor as well. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yep, that is absolutely correct. Oh. If you get a mastery of both, wizard. yeah, you can get like close to like 18 AC, I think. Yeah, and then plus the familiar thing, this is like 19. Wow. Yeah, you could, you could be a tanky mage if you want. I need that for my lightning touch spell. Uh, yeah. did, did anyone learn the spell from 
What do you? What was it? Uh, Conjure elimination and light. I know some read it. Did I did. Was, okay, so you did I learn did, it. Wait, did I? I. You can also check it out with you if you wanted to read it. Um, read during the uh, during bedtime if you'd like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can check out oh, two yeah. books, right? It's two books per student. Okay. I want well, mythical I'm monsters. I'm alone in my dorm, sadly. No, oh, I yeah. want mythical oh. monsters. Well, oh, no, you I have the or you have orc, girl. orc girl can study with me. Yeah, but I don't know what books she's going to check out. She can just read whatever you bring. This is true. If you were like, can you study with me? She would probably would. She will 100% do it. Um, Tremor's going to try to challenge Al to, <laughs> to read Mythical Monsters. <laughs> Al's going to go hey. as hard as he can. Look. What? I know how to extract spells from Mythical Monsters. I should know how what they are and how to find them. Actually, wait. We're both going to the same place. Why don't we just re study it together? <laughs> well, I suppose we can potentially do that. If you get this out, he passes it across. I will. I will get out the hush painting and and wash the shrimpy shackles. <laughs> Sounds like a deal. Watch the shapes. I offer my hand to Al. <laughs> oh. It, for the pursuit of knowledge. Al kind of wipes off sweat on his on his like leg and then shakes it. Pursuit. Uh I don't know. I'm actually I'm gonna I'm gonna shake it. I was trying to think of like, like I was for a second considering doing something like Lenora's fucking shock and grasp, but that would kill him. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I don't think I have actually Murder is so I'm just gonna yeah. <laughs> uh, see upstairs and I'm and I go check out um, the two books I'm checking out are the armored mage and um, uh, mythical creatures okay are there multiple copies of thank books thank you no? <laughs> yes. oh my god there are? Okay, cool. You're welcome. Don't make fun of me. This is just how I talk. <laughs> Rude <laughs> child. Um. Yes. Good evening, Madam Hush. Perhaps we could come to an accord at some point where I might be able to um, take out several books, as I am a much faster reader Limits than the majority of... to per student. I understand that, it's just that I wish to excel... Limits in... to per student! Limit to per student? Yes. Just these two, please. Thank you. Al just cries. <laughs> uh, Gideon's gonna check out Contra Illumination and Light since it doesn't have to be red. And, uh. uh I'm gonna check out. I, Eleonora, did you check out. Didn't she, weren't you gonna check out Light? Or no? I thought there were multiple books. Oh, yeah, you can check out multiple. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, go on. Or, or like, uh, there's multiple copies. Yeah, there are multiple copies. I apologize. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna take that one and, uh. Did they? Oh, they already took armored. Did, did the guys already have armored mage back at the dorm? Yeah, yeah I, I have it. Camera right. Oh, you do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Never mind. Then I'm gonna take. Uh, I'll take for sure solar whip. Thank you. Um, Eleonora is going to try to sneak a third book out. Ooh! <laughs> Roll the stealth check. Roll a stealth check. Okay. Um, let's see, hold on. Okay, here we go. Not bad. Uh... My Discord cut out right... Well, right. we'll find out. Go to Madam Hush and check out your books. Alright, um, I was going to check out... Let's see, so I'm going to go up to... Um... Hi, I'd like to check these two out. It's uh, Conjure Illumination and mm. Cure All Missile. Mm. Uh, thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. Have, have a good day. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do I notice anything suspicious about that exchange? Nope. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> uh, Gideon realized before he left the library that he doesn't want to take out um, one of these. He doesn't want to take out Solar Whip. <sighs> <laughs> uh, he's, he's back to return Solar Whip and he wants to take out uh, Make up paint. your mind I'm, I'm sorry Miss Miss Hush I just I'm, I'm fine Madam I just, you go. Hush Madam Hush goodbye you're very pretty <laughs> Thank you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright It is now the evening hours I'm going to go to the mail dorm room real quick because a little change has been made. Oh my god, the bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I like the, the imprint where it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. That's great detail. Uh, you are all free to study one more spell for the night if you'd like and not risk exhaustion. Where's my mage armor boys at? <laughs> ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> right Ele Eleanor, what are what are you studying? Um, I'd probably study since I already read Conjure Illumination and Light, I'd probably study that. Okay. Would you like me to help you? Uh certainly, yes. You can Absolutely. Me. We shall sit on the ground and giggle to each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sitting on the ground with her. <laughs> yes, good. Uh, Eleonora, go ahead and make your Arcana check at okay. advantage. Okay. You have mastered the light spell. Woohoo! Uh, you okay. are able to. So when you cast light, mm -hmm. uh, your your light it goes an additional five feet out and five feet dim as well. Nice. So instead of 2040, it's now uh, 2545. Nice. And that's your evening. Unless you continue oh. to study in the late in the night, but you risk exhaustion at that point. Uh, no, I won't risk that. All right, boys, what are you doing? Please join um, me in my quarters, and I will <laughs> is, go to my room. Is there only enough time to read... Like study one, or can I read a book and then study? It? Uh, you can read a book and study. It'll be three o'clock, three in the morning when you finish doing both Oof. of those, though. Mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> what are you boys doing in there? Uh, I think magic armor. armor, mage armor, right? Yeah. Ooh! Uh. Oh my <laughs> fucking god. Uh, excuse me, Tremor, if you can, uh, uh You may approach. <laughs> <laughs> can you please move your thing off my bed? It's not a thing. His name is Otto. All right. Can you move Otto off your, uh, off the bed? I, I need to sleep. You can ask Otto. But, but you know I don't have to do that, Tremor. <laughs> Otto's like... Looking away from him, examining his fingernails. Because um, he has fingernails. That's, that's canon. Love it. Love it. I was going to come in. You know that? I'm not sure who you are. I'm now Doris Thalarian. I need aid in reading this book and studying it before we lose sleep. Come on. Uh, I was I was going to sleep and go to bed, but... I... No, oh. no, wait. we're staying up tonight. <laughs> Trust me, it's worth it. Uh, and I'm going to pull out, uh, I'm going to read the Hush painting. He'll sit with you. I really want this spell. And wait, wait, are all of you risking exhaustion? Uh, no, no. It's, it's, uh, if they go to bed <laughs> at like two, three, they'll be, they should be fine. Okay. I uh, want it to be known that while it's not visibly shown at all, Gideon is struggling with feelings of jealousy right now because Al is studying oh. with someone else. Oh. And, uh, I'm, I'm going to see, I'm going to see if, uh, if Shimmer picks up on that, he's gonna try to incite it. That's fine. Well, I think so. I mean DM, DM. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trevor, uh, yeah. You could do a deception check if you want to hide it. I his I mean his insight was he rolled a three, so I think. <laughs> I mean you might roll, roll a one. deception. Roll the deception. Ah, but I was I. Urgh. You might. 
Yeah, you're good. You might have rolled a go. one and been like, why is he studying with him and not me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with it. <laughs> Fair. Uh, Tremor, you don't you don't notice the thing. Come on. Let's learn how to be buff and pick up the mage armor. <laughs> All right. Armored mage. This, this is the equivalent of, of what jocks do when they're working out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's get some arcana checks. Uh, everyone roll arcana advantage. Uh, Tremor and Gideon, you have mastered mage armor, which means you get a, an additional plus one on your mage armor. Ooh. The armor class. No. Wow, that's so special. Aldoris, you <laughs> have failed ultimately as uh Ooh. Telkin says oh. Ah Oh, thank you for letting me stay out. This is a wonderful spell. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> so awkward. Dude, is Aldoris gonna stay up and gonna keep trying to oh, learn it? Oh no. He's gonna be really tired for the dungeon tomorrow. Hmm. Brett, I have a question. Yes. Could I have learned one more? Because I'd already read Light during the library. I just... You read it, but it, you, you spent four hours studying it. Oh, okay. Sorry. So it's No, you're good. Hours. You're good. Okay. I mean, you can keep going and risk exhaustion. Ooh. Mm, tempting. You all are actual it... students, like, cramming in the middle of the night. I know. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. this is, it's fun. I like this yeah. is set up. Good, is good. exhaustion, uh, is it just a D20? To see if you are exhausted or not. Uh, uh, the first night, I'll I'll probably give you like a check, but then at that point, um, it'll be forced exhaustion points. Okay. And gotcha. if you get too exhausted, you could literally keel over and die from lack of sleep and food. Oh, that's the way to go. Dying for it, too that much. That would reading. take like not sleeping for six nights. It'd so, be like a know. week of just cramming <laughs> yeah. and not eating. I hope your friends tell you not <laughs> to stop. Yeah. What is the effect of exhaustion one? By the way, is it? Disadvantage on ability checks, or is it? Uh, David I can tell you right now. D and D exhaustion, and it, it, you don't necessarily. I'm not trying to tempt you to cram, uh, but the first night would be a check. Uh, okay, so exhaustion. The first, well, you disadvantage on ability checks. So if I'm like, you know, hey, make so the next day you would have disadvantage on all studying, basically. If you is... failed, and yes, that is yeah. correct. Mm. Hmm. Uh, I think Gideon's pretty happy. I think he's going to go to bed. Yeah. Same with Tremor. If I was to stay up, <laughs> is it... Ah! If I was to do the four hours... Uh-huh. Would that give me more than one level of exhaustion? Or do, would I have to cram if I stayed up? Uh, It's up to you. The later you stay up and the little sleep you get, um, you will... The DC for that I'll have you make a constitution check uh, will be higher. So if you but cram he, he, and go to sleep... You'd only get a maximum of one level of exhaustion, right? He's not like he's going to get six correct. in one night. Correct, yeah. correct. Um, you have a possibility of waking up and being completely fine. If you cram and then uh, go to sleep, uh, you'll you'll have to roll a constitution uh, saving throw. But if you study regular and go to sleep, you'll have to do the same thing, but the DC will be higher. Telkin yawns and just goes. Is day busy tomorrow? What? <laughs> Out of doors doesn't say goodbye. Is the day busy tomorrow? Is the day... Or do you want to go to the dungeon tomorrow? You have, you have a free day like tomorrow. Oh, it's up to you. You're you're free to decide when you want to go to the dungeon. Oh. I don't know. Are we forced to go into the dungeon if we don't go tomorrow? Like after that? Two you days you do literally that, right? don't have to go in the dungeon at all and just fail your assignment if you want. <laughs> oh... Oh, like the I mean, club. Tremor's going in tomorrow, so. I mean, Telkin okay. Goes. That was a lovely evening. Thank you so much, Al. Mm. <laughs> will a short gonna... will a short rest will a short rest evade exhaustion? Like, mm -mm. no, no, it's a no. rest. You guys are Otto's already pushing it. Sleeping on that guy's bed, by the way. Uh, he gets into oh. the bed. He, it, uh, he attempts to hold Otto like a stuffed animal. Oh, Weird. Oh. Otto will uh, <laughs> just let out a really low, like, gutter, like. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to uh, sleep in this bed tonight. <laughs> and then he quiets. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, he'll go to sleep. Okay. It's not we're not worth risk, risking a whole day of bad studying. All right. The next morning, what do you all do? What time is it? Uh, Quit moving for class. <laughs> I would say yes. no, no classes today. Today's a free day. It's all free period for your like study. Scratching at his skin, like gotta go. You come over here. Gotta go over here. <laughs> like the moment Aldorus wakes up, he picks up the book. <laughs> Puts on his spectacles. It's eight o'clock. Time to get to work. <laughs> it's uh, it's eight in the morning. Feel free to make your arcana check if you're studying by yourself. Or are you cramming or doing normal or what are you doing? Uh, normal. Okay. Come on. You have gained a mastery of the spell. Oh, the DC gets lowered because of, of the uh, hush painting. Of the hush oh, painting, yeah. yeah. Thank God for the spell I really wanted. What does mm -hmm. the hush uh, painting do? It's silent image, so it's an illusion oh, spell. Gotcha. Uh, you, uh, you are able to record a three-word phrase in your yes. silent image. It's no longer silent. Um, however, the phrase comes across extremely distorted, distorted, so it'd be incredibly difficult to fool anyone into thinking that the image was real. Okay. If you do okay. decide to use the audio cue in your image. Mm -hmm. Um, Brett, the mythical monsters, is that just an informational book or is that an actual there's effect associated with it? You, do you read it for, for an hour? Yeah. Uh, you discover it's just informational. All right, I'll do one study session before lunch. <laughs> All right, one, 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 one more study yeah, session. Yeah, I want to I try to study shield again because I... Uh, I got a novice mastery of it last I time. I will also join him in that. Oh, then no. let's, let's roll an advantage. And then everyone... Gideon is almost completely forgotten about Al now. <laughs> oh, oh my oh, God. No! Uh, I also would be using the cantrip of uh, my, little, my little buddy here. An yeah, additional plus, your bond. Yeah, yeah, an additional plus two to your proficiency then. Make sure you have your familiar out when you're... Uh... Yeah, there you go. I did it. All right. All right. Let's see some Arcana checks. Uh, uh, Tremor, you have learned shields. Oh, no. Tremor, you've mastered shields. So you can turn it into a buckler if you would wish. Hell Gideon, yeah. you have also mastered shield. Huzzah, even. <laughs> <laughs> I right. want to try to master, or I want to I wanna read uh, Cure for All and Magic Missile. And okay. Try to uh, once again, uh, Brunbush will be yes. happy to study with you beautiful this is fun i'm having fun as am i so much fun she blushes <laughs> um did you study this before or no uh no then you have learned uh shield not a mastery of it but you've learned the okay. normal shield got it um after lunch are Wait, you what are we what's lunch today Hold, please. <laughs> Ask now. Beep, 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 beep. It is a beef chili. It's a beef chili. Covered in rice. With rice. And a piece of bread. And a piece of bread to go as a, as a complex drink. What about the drink? Water. Ah, funny you should ask, water. Apple cider. With an apple cider or choice. Or a uh, buttermilk. They also have buttermilk. Same thing as yesterday. That's it. Really? For the for the drinks, not for the meal. Yeah, yesterday was, was totally have something different. more. Yesterday was split pea soup. What color is the milk? Uh, so. ye, oh, like a light yellow and white. Ew. <laughs> it looks like eggnog. A little bit, yeah. Ooh, eggnog. I do like it. Not when it's called mommy's milk, then it's gross. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'll take a, I'll take a, a glass of milk to go. What happened to the drink you took last night, yesterday? I still have it. What the? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So All right. It is We're warm. Weird, it is warm. Is it curdle? Uh, well, no. He had, he took apple cider yesterday, right? Oh, you're right. You're right. Okay. I'll probably pour out the soup. Or the uh, the pea soup I had from yesterday. That doesn't seem like it would it, hold as well. It uh lets out a bit of a reeking smell. 
That fast? One day? Jeez. Yeah, I mean, it's not filled with preservatives and shit like that. Pea soup already smells bad, so... Yeah, yeah that's fair. It's fair. Yeah, I, I dumped that outside somewhere. Okay. Uh, after lunch, are you studying more? Are you attempting the dungeon? Tremor will say, I think it's dungeon time. Who's with me? Yes, I suppose so, but I do believe we should eat before we go. This is after so lunch. Just did. Oh, sorry. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps again. Hold on. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> uh, can ah. I can I cast familiar bond even though it has eight hours? Can I reset it, like dispel it, and then reset it? Uh, if you spend the ten minutes to do so, yes. Okay, I kind of want to do that. Just if I have a full eight hours the rest of this day, I'll have. Mm. And I have to, do I have to choose my bonus right now? Because now I don't want the Arcana yes. check. Yeah. yeah, every time you cast a spell, you choose the bonus. Okay, so I'm going to take the spell bonus damage. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing and get the AC bonus. Okay. I would also like the AC bonus. Okay. Oh, I never learned that, did I? Ooh. No. <laughs> well, you learned it, but you didn't have a spot for your cantrip, right? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Can that, can't yeah, I? you can prepare it for today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would have removed prestidigitation and prepared uh, that for sure. Um, what was it? So it was an AC. It was, what was the second one? It was uh, temporary 10 HP, plus one AC, double arcana uh, proficiency, or plus one damage on spells. Uh, in the middle of lunch, Nigel will hop out and says, I have to go now. Good luck in the What's dungeon wrong? today. We're heading Running in now. Out. You're what? We're heading in now. He's going to the dungeon. Oh. In the beginning well, of lunch. Are we about to go? Well, that your guys are going at the end of lunch. Oh, uh, okay. All right. You guys ready? I eat lunch. You guys ready? <laughs> I'm doing the plus one to damage or spells as well. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Yes. Actually, Is you know what? Pop? I will too. Sorry, I'm I'm going to retcon my, my AC one and get the damage to spells. Okay. Um, can we stack mage armor on? No, it's thirteen plus dexterity modifier. Never mind. But if it's a mastery and it gives an extra plus one, is it never gonna like? Can, can we like all stack one person to be a giant tank? No, you can't stack no. mage armor no. together. Okay. No. It'll always just be the sixteen. Okay, it's it's like okay. if you were all wearing like four pieces of a breastplate, it doesn't provide you a bonus armor class. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I want to cast mage armor on myself right now. <laughs> Is that the sound it makes? Yeah, no, it's not the sound it makes. I don't know what the sound it makes, but just imagine a really cool sound as you oh, fortify shit. yourself with magical armaments. What is the AC bonus for Familiar Bond? I don't actually have the book. I... Uh, plus one AC if you decide to choose the okay. AC. Hog. All right. So what is everybody doing? It's dungeon time. It's dungeon, dungeon time, time it's baby. Dungeon time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, then, uh, you begin to head into the school where you're guided over to where the Exodus Labyrinth is. A set of stone stairs descends before you. Let me just go ahead and put you guys there. Feel free to... It's still... Uh, lit over here so and then I'm going to do one of these perfect perfect uh it's rather cold underneath the dungeon way hold on I have to change something on my end uh oh there it is there we go. Little visual representation for everybody. There we go. All right. Uh, you've begun to enter. What are you all doing? Okay, maybe we should come up with a strategy. Because we could die. We're not going <sighs> to die. We won't die. I think we just have to keep our eyes on the water. Al, it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, okay. Okay, we'll have each other's backs. We'll Bye. see. 
Ow. <laughs> She's that was her attempt at a, at a joke, but <laughs> I don't think it. I don't think it landed. <laughs> no, it definitely did not. <laughs> Uh, you enter a sort of preparation lobby area where people are currently uh, plotting and planning uh, what is around. Uh, you see the open bottles uh, or the open barrels of water. Uh, this one is filled with red. This one is clear. How many you, people are in here? Uh, just one right now. Uh, just doing a little bit of studying. Uh, Gideon, you come across uh, some notes. Let me read them real quick. If you wish to read them. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, various notes. If you explore the notes, you'll discover a note mentioning that an ank hag is at the bottom of year one's hallways. It mentions, talks a little bit about how this, that the ank hag will burrow around the dirt and has a deadly acid spray to plan for. You also see a vial uh, of liquid. Uh, placed upon a paper where it's written acid resistance potion do not remove using for my test it is not identified uh, can I attempt to identify it or no or kind of check oh uh, no by identified I mean it's not identified as in you don't know whose potion oh that is. okay gotcha 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 um, uh, I don't Malcolm. think I don't think Gideon would take it what you got over there <laughs> there's just uh there's this stack of notes warning us uh warning whoever reads it would you like to read it sure i'll get a read uh it is a, a the the notes mention do you want me to repeat no <laughs> okay all right you you read the notes you find out about the gang keg at the bottom uh, you also find out that about the uh, acid resistance potion where it says, please oh, not sweet. take. I take it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I investigate this red bucket? Yes. Yes. Uh, what should I roll? Investigation. investigation. Yeah. Ow. Ooh. Uh, it is water uh, that has been dyed red. Nothing special about it. No! I thought it was blood. <laughs> you thought okay. that was blood? I thought it might have been a mop that had mopped up the blood of a student that had died. It's a bit morbid. Well, okay. not anymore. It's just dyed red water, Eleanor. <laughs> uh, Brett. <laughs> yes. Can you describe to me what's on this table and this table? Uh, well, this is a, a bookshelf. Uh, right. It has a couple of books that were checked out from the library. Uh, it has uh, the, uh, what was it called? Conjure Illumination and Light uh, and Mythical Monsters uh, over there. Uh, right. On this table, there really isn't mu much, and she's just writing some notes down. Um, okay. Tremor's going to send Otto to sneak up and grab her notes. You're a little troublemaker. Uh, I got a plan. She, he, so is he sneaking or is he literally like climbing up on the table and like grabbing? I mean, he's climbing up on the table and like grabbing it and he's going to sprint away. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, so he does that. He grabs it. She looks around and goes, hey. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's happening. Can you stop him? And he's going to run. He's going to run oh. uh, out here. <laughs> Uh, it, uh, uh -huh. what, what, who's, is that someone's familiar? I'm sorry, he's out of control. He's gonna, that's like, tremors. okay, as that's happening, <laughs> as he leaves the room, he casts Mage Hand. Uh-huh. I'm replacing this with this. <gasps> Ooh. Wow. You're okay. gonna get students killed, dude. Holy fuck. Uh, it is done. You all what? see as the barrels are being, like, dragged around. What are you doing, Tremor? It's an experiment. He's trying to kill off our competition, Aldorus. Hmm. I see. Thinking through warfare. <laughs> Aldorus <laughs> weirdly into it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get it. Look. 
I don't buy this whole more challenging wing thing. I see. I say we find out by their own rules how it works. Is there anything on these papers here in front of where the red bucket is? Right. All right. Try my way to follow the rules. <laughs> uh, just a couple of uh, notes describing a little bit about what is down here. It mentions a kobold infestation. Okay. okay. Oh. That sounds easier than an ank egg. <laughs> no, but that's multiple. Ank egg will be one. Maybe someone already switched them. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh, oh that's fucking crazy. Oh, uh, that would be wild if Malcolm and his group did the same thing because they went before lunch. Wait, oh, no, well, hold on. Nigel said Malcolm was acting like weirdly quiet. I'm still sus about that, okay? Out of character. I think that's just because I embarrassed the dig he got really, uh, and I thought, I took it as okay. he was just like humbled. Can we, can, can Tremor roll like a history or check or nature check to compare the the power of an ank egg and a kobold? Uh, you can make a, uh, yeah, allowed nature. I mean, an ank egg is more powerful than, than one kobold. But an infestation also suggests uh, multiples of kobolds. Multiples. Mm -hmm. Yeah, multiples. Yeah. Uh, the notes just right. mentioned briefly about the kobolds. Trevor's going to head over here. Come on, we should head in. All right. Uh, do we already check this table? We saw that table, didn't we? Uh, no, you haven't checked that table. Oh, hold on. What's this say? Uh, the the notes say, talk about rumors that the ink egg is not what it appears. Uh oh. Um, it says the ink egg isn't what it appears. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's so nervous. If it bleeds, we can kill it. But it yeah. might not bleed. It says it's not what it appears. <laughs> uh, you descend down the stairs. I suppose oh. we do. I. Man. I'm tempted to go on the red one, but it, I'll do it to you guys. Mm. I think the one on the left might actually be the correct way to go. But Guess we'll find out. I'm going to live and die awesome. by my prank. Uh, oh, yeah. Otto. Yeah. How do you want to resolve this, Brett? Otto is going to try to get away from her and get back to me now. Uh, so he's going to let loose the notes and be like. Yeah, that's pretty much. The, that's probably what would happen. She would probably then scramble, scramble to like pick them up. Yeah, he's gonna act like erratic and like run back in here, and then once he's, he's out of sight, he'll just beeline it to me. Uh, okay. All right, are you ready to descend? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm nervous, yes, I'm nervous. All right. You see, Kobo. Nothing. You descend into darkness. I'm gonna. Okay. Act light is it, am i the only one that has that yes yeah. okay cool. <laughs> wow good thing i got it uh yeah i'll cast light all right uh, i can cast it on myself right uh correct okay yeah i'll do that all right none of us should have picked up and then bread stream would have just been a <laughs> <laughs> i mean i was it's it was it's, it was totally Super viable bad. it's like yeah. that pokemon dungeon yeah uh, 25. Would you like to cast it on auto? I can have him fly. Oh, oh. someone take my hand. Wait, what did you auto, just auto, say? Auto takes Al's hand. <laughs> <laughs> he holds it in front of you guys. Holy I'm fuck. A bit <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll cast light on auto so we can get the aerial advantage of lit from above. She's gonna come up with. Oh, do I stood right next to? Oh, sorry, holding his hand. Yeah, it's just gonna be like an underlit, like gross, like naked mole rat staring up at you. Dude, dude. <laughs> ah! Uh, one second, sorry. Yeah, hold on. Can I? Oh, here we go. Can you see, Eleanor? Yes. Okay, cool. I can't see. Wait, oh wait, hold on. Ah. Uh, I can do something. One second. Uh, 
Actually, let me let me let me just do something else right now. I'm going to. Oh yeah, I also get uh I get 25 feet because I mastered it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I've added uh, it. Cool, cool, cool. I have to do something real quick. Sorry. That's all good. I can't uh get this to work. Then I will. We'll just turn on the lights. Well, I, I can see through here, but I, I can't get a... Oh, maybe I can... Oh, I'll do this. Sorry. There we go. All right. Um... Uh, oh. I will also, man, this is apparently very, can, can anyone else see Eleanor right now? Or no? Is, do you guys see darkness? Nope. Darkness. All right, all right then, uh, what I'm going to do is say, is there an all players option? There is. Okay, here we go. Boom. Yeah, there it is. Ooh. Uh, Although I think we put it on auto instead of Eleanor, so. Yeah, well, I have to, I have to have it, um, we can move the light around to, to kind of okay. suggest that everyone can move it around a little bit. Um, I don't know how to make it so that everyone else can can see it. Uh, okay. So we, we just kind of have to do it this way for now. Okay. Uh, yeah, feel free to do it there. All right. So you enter the the dark corridors. Mm -hmm. What do you all, all right. do? What's the game plan? We're all squishy wizards. So who's taking point? Uh, let me see. You said shield will last for an hour if I've mastered it. A uh, minute. Oh, a minute. Never mind. Mm -hmm. That would have been bust. That would have been so busted. Okay. Shield more uh, of a reaction. You, like you're meant to cast that as you're about to get hit. It's like a one-off sort of thing usually. Yeah. Right. But if you but master, mage armor. Yeah. Mage armor is like a preparation thing. Got it. What's wrong, Aldoris? I could guess. What? What if He's... this Ankhang isn't what it seems to be? <laughs> the note you just tried said? Yeah, then we'll kill it all the same. We Any questions? Die. Yes. <laughs> what is it? What is it? You hear footsteps coming from the other corner. Oh, God. <gasps> Otto goes. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh shit! Oh nice. my god! I was still moving everything. It's okay. I uh, and Sorry. no, it's okay. Oh, Otto being a little, little pest. Uh, yeah. You see these three leading on. Uh, Malcolm notices. Hold on. Let me actually just. There we go. Malcolm kind of sees uh, Otto and lets off a little sigh as they continue to walk on by. Hmm. Brett. Yes. Would my plus one to spell damage, that wouldn't affect the Conjure Earth Goblin, would it? Uh, no, it wouldn't. I might Conjure one anyway. Uh, okay spend a minute because i think it lasts for an hour right yes yeah yeah he's gonna conjure one up next to him uh what is Otto doing it's gonna flit around this pole and go oh, 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 oh. <laughs> i think they'll just yeah they'll just kind of like move on by i emerge from the shadows oh <sighs> successful trip Indeed. What'd you face down there? Hmm. I sh suppose I should let you find that out on your own if you're a worthy enough wizard. Well, I do you want to play it that way? So be it. Steps out of the way. <laughs> Why, thank you. Uh, I'm just going to quickly get a little light over here and this Gideon, section. you want to fucking sucker punch him from the shadows? I was thinking about it, but I think Gideon is just going to stay in the shadows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, hold on. Sorry. There we go. Perfect. Um, 
you just did you just go into the wall, dude? That's what there's a wall. There? I didn't know there's a wall there. Oh, no, I went yeah, into the, the wall. No, there's a wall there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I have the a link to the a link between worlds ability. I'm actually painting on the wall right now. It's fine. No, no worries. <laughs> Please move. Uh, uh Abdoris is telling if he conjuring his earth element, which takes a minute, so he's <laughs> distracted by that. Okay, so he'll probably squeeze by you then. Yeah. Okay. Um. Shish. <laughs> hey, how's it going, buddy? I'm all right now. Shish. <laughs> 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 Holy fuck. Nigel looks down. He looks a little depressed. Mm. What's wrong? Hey, I, I'm I would I wouldn't let Nigel go by without talking to him. Yeah. I, we'll talk later. No. Let's talk now. We're about to go into <laughs> danger. He uh looks over to you and then looks over to Malcolm and then just kinda looks down. And he walks away. I don't let him. I, I'm holding onto his scarf. <laughs> You're pulling his scarf? Do you do a grapple check? I'm, to just, hold I'm him? holding him here. He doesn't, sure. want a, he doesn't want a beer. Yeah, go make an athletics or ac acrobatics check. You're not acting like yourself. What happened down there? Uh, acrobatics. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. 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 oh. Holy fuck. Um,. Oh gosh, at that point his eyes would water up and he would just say as his scarf as you pull at his scarf, it pulls off of him. And you're now holding onto his scarf and he's no longer covered in his scarf and he kind of breathes. He he hyperventilates a little bit. He just goes I'm sorry. And then he runs upstairs. And you have Aww. his scarf now. I I stop uh Malcolm at this point. What did you do down there? Hmm? He did it all right, I suppose. Young lad doesn't even have a familiar. I don't know why they let him in this school. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to uh, stand in front of him on the way up. Step oh. aside. No. What happened down there? <sighs> Look, he's a talented mage, but if you can't even control a familiar, then you you don't deserve to be here. You're not worth it in my what, eyes. What did you do to him? I didn't do anything. I told him the truth. He shouldn't be here. He's wasting his time, his effort, and that of the of all professors. There are people that deserve to be here. He is not one of them. You think you are? Absolutely. You almost got your ass kicked by a lowborn. Oh, uh... Did you just call him a lowborn? <laughs> Gideon, wait. Yes? He walks up to you, and he kind of looks like he's about to swing a punch. Um, you know, like, he doesn't go for it, but you can tell, you know that, that posturing you get when you're about to, like, get into a fight? Yeah, like, shoulders up. Yeah, shoulders up. He kind of does that. I want to let you know you've embarrassed me quite a bit yesterday. Seems I took you for granted. You have potential and probably do quite a bit in this academy. However, you struck at me with a spell. I will not stand by and allow that. You are my enemy. And before this year is done, before this year is done, Gideon, I will make sure you're on your knees in tears. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to waste the spell slot right now, but I'm not going. To. Don't do it. Hold no, back. No, it's not worth it. I think. I think the, the what's process. What's going through Gideon's mind right now is one. He just heard this child call say referenced me as a lowborn, and then I thought that per, per, by maybe maybe Gideon, uh, Malcolm was going to apologize, and then when he started changing his tune. I just, Gideon would just walk away, for sure. Enjoy your victory, Gideon. Um, so just as uh, Al finishes casting his conjure. Mm -hmm. gonna... <laughs> so during this entire tense standoff. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm doing is, 
Uh, I'm just gonna have a goblin <laughs> token for now. There'll be an earth goblin later. Yeah, that's okay. It, he looks to Malcolm and says, um, I would like to apologize uh, for uh, getting in the way of your push. Oh. He, uh... Tremors look disgusted at, at Al. <sighs> he looks... Weakness. He looks unamused. Uh, like, like so just like over it, like his face. He's still kind of angry about Gideon. And he oh, says, really well. Um, oh, no, that's that's the end of the conversation, I'm afraid, Malcolm. We are very busy. Uh, so, Goblin, nice to meet you. I'm Aldorus Valerian. These are my companions. Ignore the one with the fire head. And we shall be your companions in this battle going forward. Um, would you care to hold my hand? <laughs> Do you command it to hold your hand? Oh, my God. He holds his hand out and he, yep. Oh. He does so. Hold, please. He holds, he holds your hands. He's gonna, he's gonna walk past Malcolm. Excuse me. And head on after Gideon with his goblin companion. <laughs> he turns um, over up to Tremor. Anything else? Stay away from Nigel. Hardly worth the effort. He tries to walk by you. Do you let him? I do, but I, I'm watching the whole time. All right. <laughs> Awkward. Are we ready? <laughs> uh, I will. Yeah, I have to control this. Okay. Obviously, he doesn't have a uh, goblin stats. He'll, he has uh, more stats that the spell describes. Uh, feel free to move the uh, the light around. Um, is Gideon like avoiding Trimmer right now? Uh, I think he's just like, yeah, he's just staying far ahead. Like he hasn't slowed his pace. Oh, but I got, but I see the lights gone. So then I, I stop where I am <laughs> in the darkness. <laughs> uh, you see what's kind of like a storage room of desks and bookshelves. Check that out, Eleonora. Sure. I'll head in, check it out. Do I see anything? Uh, you can make an investigation check. Okie dokie. You hear the sound of sand shifting over here. Go check them out, goblin. Wait, goblins have night vision, so he'd be able to go see in there. That's a uh, earthen goblin. They can't really Whoa. speak. Yeah, it's like literally a goblin made of rocks, essentially. Uh, uh, Eleonora, you don't find anything of use in there. Okay. I would also check. Uh, yeah, feel free to make an investigation check. Um, yeah, you don't find anything of use in there. It's just like a storage room. Must have been cleared out early. Must have. Bring the light Ooh. up here. Oh. You hear the, the sound of chittering over there. I'll have to ask everyone to roll initiative. Oh, Paul. Ooh. Thanks. That's one. Do I roll initiative for the goblin as well? Uh, oh, I don't have control of it. No. He definitely has a good initiative. Uh, okay. Everyone rolled. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, the earth. Does the earth goblin continue? You said check it out, right, Al? Um, as soon as the light comes in, the scaring's there. All right. Um, I've got an idea. We should, should get ready to attack whatever pops up. And I'll use the goblin as a distraction. That sounds fine, yeah. Or, I create an illusionary distraction. And the goblin helps me in attacking. How about that? 
Sure. Can I get a confirmation from everyone, please? Yes, Aldoris, just go. <laughs> Trust your gut, Aldoris, it's fine. Okay, Goblin, slip round to the side. Around, yes, good. Just there, good. And if <laughs> anything going. pops out of the sand, I want you to throw something hard at it. Does he have any range attacks? Would I know? No, he has no range attacks. He would just run over and just, like, beat something up. Yes, just beat on the next thing that pops out of that sand, unless it is a student. <laughs> or a professor. If it is creatureous. <laughs> Sorry, I get in the hang of this commandering thing. You're doing great. At that moment, an ankhead emerges <laughs> from the sand, hearing oh, the sound of the goblin walking in. Kill! <laughs> but watch out, it is on what it seems. <laughs> Kill it, but be cautious. Uh, okay, it has a low initiative roll. All right, at that point, the goblin will, he did 10, 20, 30, as he jumps down. Uh, Tremor, it is now your turn. Come out! Get in there! <laughs> you put him up that one? <laughs> <laughs> Look. Yeah, okay. Um, Trevor's gonna <laughs> stand next, like, underneath Otto, uh, and cast a uh, magic missile at the ant keg. With uh, the mastery. Okay, yeah, roll, roll your, your spell. One, two. Wait, did the two, did two go or just one? Uh, there's the two. Yeah, kind of do it a little slower. Okay. Two. Three. Four. And then plus one to all that damage. Each one of those. All right. So three. Uh, 18. Oh, plus two. Did you, you took the extra damage? 18 damage? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, it is pelted with 18 missiles. Wow. Or 18 damage of missiles, and it kind of just rah, like kind of like lets out this loud roar as it like is moving around uh, within the sand. And then Shimmer will go back here. All right, you're up next. Uh, Al, you're up. Ah, indeed. <laughs> uh, he's gonna whip around the corner and uh, yeah, I mean. Oh, no, actually, let's, uh, let's try this out, then. Let's try out... Where's my spell? I can't see it. Um, actually, how, how far away is he? He's quite far. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to do Magic Missile as well. He's going to turn around the corner and say, Magic Missile! Okay, so it's quite slow to roll, isn't it? Yeah. Uh... If you hit the, the, the B20 thing it goes faster do you have uh, a, okay. a, a familiarity with the uh, magic missile yeah yeah uh, i did a plus one so six. Oh, and six, what did eight. oh did your familiar bond do you do the extra damage as well mm -hmm. okay so, so it should be eight ten fourteen damage uh okay and then i'm gonna whip my back around and back up against the wall you're up next eleanor <laughs> this is a machine gun. Ba, 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 ba. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna do the same. Okay. Magic missile. Uh, what the hell? Except she picked the AC instead of the damage. So yeah. Yeah. Be a straight roll. Six damage? Uh, two, Don't four, two. Do you have a master? Yeah, you have master? No, uh, I didn't master it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. All uh, right. Ow. <laughs> She's going to shoot him a nasty glare before she steps back The last back missile again. goes to him. Oops. 11 and points uh, of damage as the Ankeg. Oh, wasn't it just eight? Uh, well, plus one because of magic missile. Oh, does it have plus one naturally? Oh, yep. yeah. Sorry, I forgot about that as well. Does yeah, that... I would have had that as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, wait, no, so no, no, everyone no, no. did that's, eight. That's already... That's already included in the roll. Oh, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so then she's, oh, yeah, oh that, wait, wait, yeah, yeah, eight. my bad, my bad. Yeah, so does eight. Yeah, you are correct. Y'all, either way, the Ankeg's body falls. Oh. What the fuck? It isn't what it seems. I Tre think I'm Tremor stronger than I walks seem. up. Yeah. Oh, you're not done That's yet. That's what I told you. No but, movement. Okay. You're still an initiative. Oh, okay. Well, all right. I was, I was trying to play to your... Your benefit and act like Trimmer was overly confidently. Walking no, it's it's it's, it's fine. It's uh, but yeah, we still have to we still have to follow initiative. Uh, its body, its shell begins to crack, as if it's like hatching out of its own carapace. Oh no, Ooh. babies! <laughs> Al hates babies. <laughs> I hate that babies. <laughs> Uh, let me real quick. Oh, where's my library? Um, yeah, it uh begins to crack out as you see this like sort of like darkened, blackened egg keg Gross. hatches out of it, and we Ooh. enter the second part of the battle. Pog. Uh, Ooh, this time. Is Reminds it's, me of Goma from Wind Waker. This time, it's its turn. As it just kind of... It scurries around. And uh, it immediately jumps towards the Earth Goblin. Uh, oh, hold steady! One moment. Nice thinking with that Goblin, Joe. I'm saying jokes. I would never compliment Al like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, He's my little buddy. And he attempts to bite down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. Uh, <laughs> that's okay. I could do it. It definitely hit. It definitely hit, yeah. Dealing eight points of slashing damage. And three points of acid damage for a total of 11 hit points. Can you check, it, uh, check the Earth Goblin's hit points? Do I have a sheet somewhere? Yeah, it should be in the in the spell. I think oh, eleven. Okay. I think eleven kills it though. Oh yeah. Uh, no, it's got sixteen hit, hit, hit points. All right, it's down. To, it's it's down to five. It's also immune to poison. It's immune to well, oh, yeah. poison. This is acid. This is acid. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you said poison. My bad. Oh yeah. Sorry. That might have said that. Uh, Gideon, it's your turn. Uh, I am going to, I guess, just step in front of Otto and then cast magic missile. Okay. Uh, up, 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 up. So. Two, three, four, so four, eight, eleven. Plus 13, another four damage. Plus yeah. four, so seventeen. Uh, seventeen damage is pelted to it. And uh, Gideon's gonna move up another twenty feet, and then move over he right there. Okay. He's gonna turn. Uh, the Ankeg takes a legendary action. Oh, that's fun. And oh, sprays acid over at Gideon. Ooh. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Careful! Uh... Ooh, good save. Uh, you take half of 3d6. You take six <gasps> points of acid damage. Oh, wow. Oh my god. That would have knocked me out. Dude. This could have gone real south if we weren't machine guns. This is true. It still might. We don't know how much health this thing has. <laughs> Uh, top of the round. Chat knows that when the DM says legendary action, it's just like, I feel like cheating, right? That's, chat knows that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is the goblin's turn. The goblin, uh, wails. Yeah, strike! Uh, you can make the attack rolls if you'd like. Uh, if it works, for sure. I, there you go. <laughs> well, that was bad. Oh, <laughs> That's a miss. Oh, oh no! Oh my oh, god, what? Oh. You are useless! <laughs> <laughs> Tremor, it is your turn. Uh, I guess I'll finish this. I'm gonna stay, stand up here. I don't think I even need line of sight for magic missile, right? Because I can car curve them around, to whatever. Uh, you still need to, like, see the target, yeah. Alright, then I'll stand here and cast another magic missile. Okay. Magic missile. One, two, Ooh, three, 
Oh, what? Four. What? Oh. Fuck? what? That mm. is max <laughs> damage. 24 <laughs> damage as the missiles pelt him. <sighs> you see this uh, oh, creature fuck. begin to pant. As it does, a legendary what? action against the goblin. Ow. It uh, misses with an 11. Yeah. I would move back down here, by the way. Has high armor cost the Earth Goblin. Yeah, it's got, he's got a lot of armor class. I remember that. Uh, Al, it's your turn. Trying to, trying to put this thing into, into check. I can't <laughs> check. <laughs> and... Uh, da, 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 da. The first time trying this one out, so he must make a an intelligent saving throw. All right. He's not very intelligent. He fails. Ah. Wow. Psychic damage. Six psychic damage, and then also um, you have to subtract one d4 from your next. Saving throw. And then I'm gonna whip round to this wall, put my back up against it. He doesn't have to. Ooh, because nice. he falls oh. down dead Check at that me. point. Oh, <laughs> you're way to say that. God. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, dude. Uh once he hears that, Tremor's gonna confidently walk up. Let me handle this, okay? Oh, I'm gonna hop down, put my hand on the corpse, mm -hmm. and cast uh, extract. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, dude. Spell extraction. Oh. With that, I was gonna rush over to watch. You, your hand glows with a light purple, as you kind of see the brain of the Ankhag glow lightly. You have learned a level two spell, Acid oh, oh, oh. Spray. Damn. It is essentially the acids. It's a stronger version of the Acid Spray that you saw it used against Gideon. It's a stronger version? Uh, it's 3d8 instead of 3d6. Oh, wow. That's Damn. a lot. It is a level two spell. It is literally the Ankeg's Acid Spray that you learned. That's sick. Wait, so... But I don't even have any level two spell slots. So that is correct. Yeah, you can't ah. cast it yet. But when you do, Damn. you've got that spell in the ready. Huh. Ah. Trim looks at the others. I can get used to this. Here. Because you got the killing blow. And I'm going to reach my finger out to Al. I'm going to touch his finger like E.T. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, transfer wow. the knowledge of the spell to him, too. Yep, he learns it as well. Wow. Gideon. I reach my finger out. Uh, ooh. I think Gideon Gideon would reach his finger out. Yeah, he's like super hesitant about it, but he does. As as he's about to, Trimmer kind of pulls his finger back for a second. Oh. You aren't you aren't upset about what I said earlier, are you? Uh, I'm not upset with you. No. Look. I'm. I was just trying to get under his skin. I know what he cares about. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. All right, and I'll pass this spell to him. Thank egg is doubtful, it, it looks like. Yeah, he just <laughs> fell over. He was sitting up and then he <laughs> fell dark. down. He fell down. Oh, the entire time he was like, the entire time was like his death throws. He's like, <laughs> while we're having this, this conversation. <laughs> I didn't mean what oh, I said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gideon, Eleanor. if you accept, you learn. Um, acid I do. Spray. I did. I did accept, and then I wanted to ask if I can like check the sand to see if there's any like I don't know lost items of students past that have died down here, or anything Ooh. of value. Uh, yeah, any yeah, sort of loot. What did Eleanor get over there? Feel free to roll an investigation huh? check. I didn't see you. Were you? <laughs> I, I, just, I had the light over here. I, I walked in. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just emerges from the darkness. For Eleonora, uh, would he also do the finger thing? I think that's weird. I'm trying to think. Uh, I think he would start with the finger, and then he and then he'd move it to like high five. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna stare at his hand. Um, with because she also learned spell extraction, could she do that to the? Okay, yeah, or no? yeah, absolutely. Spell slot though. 
Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Um, she's just gonna, like, daintily, like, touch his palm. Like, not really high-fiving, <laughs> but just, like... <laughs> Weird. Touch it. Um, Gideon, you do not find anything in the sand. Gotcha. Uh, the ank hag oh, begins to dissolve and, like, sort of, like, squish together as it transmutates into a piece of paper of, like, made of ink egg, uh, skid. I'll pick it up. All it says is, you passed, Professor Venaway. All right. Run up and down the sand, make sure there's nothing more. <laughs> uh, Gideon explored and, and didn't find anything. Oh. oh okay, he explored the entire sand, okay. Al, do you want to send your goblin sprinting into the next room and see if there's anything else? A chance. Uh, goblin, go take that order from Trimmy, my lieutenant. Um, <laughs> so just because we're approaching the uh, the end right now, mm -hmm. um, you thoroughly search around the area and all the other rooms are just storage rooms of desks and and chairs okay. and tables. You don't really find anything of importance. Um, all right. The, Back to the professor. Yeah. So oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, yeah, yeah. So the so um his class will be in a couple of days where you'll be able to present the proof, essentially. Mm -hmm. Um, but you are all pretty a little, even though you haven't taken any damage. Um, it does sort of wrap up your day, where you can kind of like take a break and get some sleep, especially considering the fact that you. Were I was going to study the rest of the day, bro. Uh, yeah, we could say you studied and then maybe at the end of or during the uh, between sessions, we can say what you studied. Does that sound good? Mm hmm. OK, mm -hmm. cool. So I'm going to pause this and take away this light. I'm gonna, yeah. It is the evening hours. Uh, over in, and everyone has uh, gone to bed, unless everyone's doing any sort of mischief or anything like that during the evening. No, absolutely uh, not. I got a rest because I actually took damage. Yeah, you're probably feeling a little bit of it. Uh, during the night, you all sort of break into a a bit of a sweat, as if you were all having a nightmare. It's that 25 check, dude. I know, my oh. cursed 25 check. God damn it. I need everyone to roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, my. Oh. Uh-oh. Trying to disrupt this sleep. <laughs> Al needs his eight hours, dude. <laughs> you feel as if something is being ripped from you. Oh. <gasps> like a no. vital organ. Uh-oh. Or a piece of uh -oh. you being taken away. All of us? Yes. <gasps> no, no, no. No, no, no. You I all, know what it is. No. You all <laughs> jolt awake and immediately discover what is wrong. All of your familiars have been taken from you. No! No, dude! Oh, shit! No! And so ends today's session. Oh my god. Can I, can I look through Otto's eyes? I have, as a homunculus, I'm able to see through his eyes as if, like, one-to-one. -one. We'll have to find out next session what you can Ooh, or can't see. Big cliffhanger. Damn. Okay. That and that's, that's it. Thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate it. I, I, uh, Craig, and I know you have to get going here in a minute, uh, but I'll see the rest of you or a couple of you or a few of you uh, in a couple of minutes, and maybe we'll chat about what happened. Yeah. That was great, man. I'm uh, excited to see the result of that prank, quote-unquote, I pulled that <laughs> may get the deaths of uh, <laughs> several students. I don't know. We'll oh. see what happens. <laughs> All right, guys.
I'll I'll see you in a in a few minutes. Thank you so much. Sounds good. All right. Sounds good. See you guys. Bye. Bye. See ya. Well, how'd you guys enjoy that session, huh? Kind of ended on a sad little cliffhanger. The familiars are all gone. We're not entirely certain what happened there, but we'll find out what happens next week. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all hanging out. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Uh, a couple of things of note uh, before we wrap things up. Uh, I first want to thank those that have subscribed today or gifted subs. It helps me out. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, NNK, thank you for the tier one sub for 25 months. Uh, Dermaziel, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Quinster, thank you for gifting a sub to Luna the Hellhound. And uh, I believe that is it for today as far as spells go. Uh, just as a forewarning, uh, head on over to our, not warning, but just to let you know, head on over to our Patreon. All this art is being funded by our gracious patrons. We've also included a couple of more higher up tiers, including the ability to create your own NPC in the world of IO, as well as an exclusive ability, uh, if you would like, to have a campaign, not a campaign, a session for a campaign crafted specifically for you. Uh along with other tiers, including MP3s of the campaign, uh, podcasts, full rendered art assets that aren't shown anywhere else, work in progresses, uh, game mechanics have been posted. For example, the cantrip making of last week uh, was posted. All sorts of things. Uh, your support on the Patreon helps me out tremendously, and I thank you to everyone that has uh, supported thus far. We're at 17 patrons. We're three away from 20 uh, go check it out. Uh, the earliest one gets you, grants you access over to the World of IO uh, Discord, which is exclusively for uh, Patreon members. So check it out. See if it's something that you guys are interested in. Uh, I would also like to take the moment to thank some of our special legendary epic hero patrons one of these days i will have this actually written down <laughs> i've been working so much on the game i always forget to write it down um uh, i want to shout out our level 50 epic hero patrons including uh liam aka link zoramaj i know i'm butchering your name i apologize for that uh i'd like to thank uh the H hug hunter and julius shark for being level 50 patrons, uh, they actually had the opportunity to create a couple of cantrips that were placed into the world of IO as well. Uh, I want to make sure that you guys, uh, that if you do support the Patreon, you guys are getting apps, just so many resources that you all can really enjoy. So thank you guys so much for that. Also, real quick uh, shout out for our Twitch Prime subscribers. Uh, if you have a moment, check to see if you have a Twitch Prime available. And if you do, consider subscribing to the stream. Helps me out tremendously, and you get a bunch of wonderful raccoon-themed emotes. So again, thank you to everyone who visited, who supported, who's here right now. You guys are absolutely awesome. This campaign is consistently excellent. I'm so happy. One final announcement, then, before we wrap it up. This Saturday, if you were looking for more D&D, &D, this Saturday is our premiere of our pirate-themed campaign in the world of Iyer, uh, Iyer, geez, the world of Io, The Misdemeanor, is a pirate-themed campaign starring Dodger, The Completionist, Dookie Shed, and Super Shiggy. Uh, we'll be doing session one at 4 p.m. EST, 1 p.m. PST, and that's happening literally this Saturday, two days from now. You guys are going to start getting two campaigns a week, so I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Sunday morning, 6 a.m., that's okay, because 24 hours later, we'll have the MP3 posted up over on the Patreon, and about two to three days after that, we'll have it posted over on the YouTube VOD channel. Uh, so that is it for now. Again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all greatly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a peek and see who's doing what. That way we can send you guys over. Uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying these campaigns. It seems like you all are, and I thank you so much for that. I'll be off tomorrow since I will be preparing uh, for the misdemeanor's arrival this Saturday. Uh, I know Kraken was about to stream. I don't know if he's officially started or not, but head on over there. He's one of our players. Uh, I'm seeing if any of our D&D players are currently on right now. Uh, I'm going to send you over to Octopimp. Uh, we are going to be running a third campaign called uh, All King. That'll be, we still don't have a date for that yet. Um, aiming for mid to late August. 
And uh, yeah, so head on over. Octopimp's going to be a part of that. That third campaign's going to have Lawman, Gmart, Octopimp, and whoops. Should be a lot of fun. That's really like high fantasy exploration, like, kind of like the D&D you guys are probably all used to. What's he playing? Looks like he's playing Mass Effect 2. So head on over to Octo. Big shout outs. Thank you guys so much once again for supporting the D&D streams. You all are absolutely wonderful. If you are a subscriber, make sure you head on over and drop some Brett 2 love. If you are not a subscriber, you can spend channel points now to unlock Brett 2 love. And then you have that emote unlocked for 24 hours. So thank you so much. Am I going to be posting VODs to D&D somewhere? Yep, over on my VODs channel or VOD channel. I really need to just get VODs figured out. I don't know why I keep doing that. Head over to the VOD channel. There should be a playlist already with the two episodes of the Arcane Academy. And the third episode will probably be posted some point uh, this weekend. Uh, you can also listen to the uh, Session 3 in MP3 format uh, tomorrow. That'll be posted on the Patreon. That'll be a five. That's the $5 level 5 tier. So, All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give Octo my love. I will see you all the next time. Bye-bye. Uh,